everybody and welcome to Lockdown Launchpad. Do you know what, I'm going to stop saying the number because I've kind of lost count and I'm not quite sure where we are, whether we're 16, 17, 15, I think we're 17. Yeah. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, have you had a good week? Have you enjoyed the sunshine? Summer holidays are brilliant, aren't they? They're really good fun. We're going to have some good fun today in um, Launchpad. We are going to hear from Sally. Um, telling us our story and we're going to see Jo doing our craft today. Jo, so that'll be good. So let's start off our song with um, Our God is a Great Big God. I know we all like this one. We can get ourselves going, get ourselves moving and dance along to Our God is a Great Big God. Our God is a Great Big God. Thanks, Phoebe. That's really got us going this week, hasn't it? Week 17, can you believe that? We're now going to watch a video as we normally do, and after that, we'll come back and talk about it further. Enjoy. Stories of the Bible The Lost Sheep. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Jesus taught everyone about God's love. All kinds of people would come to hear Jesus speak, including tax collectors and people who made bad choices. This made the Pharisees and Jewish leaders mad. Ah, yuck. They didn't think that Jesus should be around these kind of people. Hmm. So Jesus told them this story. If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them gets lost, then, uh, hmm. 
What will he do? You stay here. Won't he leave the 99 others and go to search for the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he's found it, hey, he will joyfully carry it home. When he gets home, he will call together his friends and neighbors, saying, Oh, everyone, come here, come here. Celebrate with me, because I have found my lost sheep. In the same way, there is more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who returns to God than over 99 others who haven't strayed away. I hope you enjoyed that. That's probably one of my favourite parables that Jesus told. And uh, I'm going to hand you over to Joe Stevens, who's going to do a craft with us now. And after that, when we come back, we'll sum up the story. So thanks, Joe. Hi, Joe. Well, good morning. Wasn't that a lovely story? I just love the story of the lost sheep because it reminds me that even if I do make mistakes, and I do make mistakes, that God won't let me down. It's just fantastic to know that he's always got me. Now, before I go any further, I just want to explain my dress this morning. Um, one of the other Launchpad helpers for a laugh last week said, how about doing it in our pyjamas? And because I have no shame, I thought that's a brilliant idea. So this is my favourite unicorn onesie, and I will be preparing our craft like this today. Right, really simple craft for you today, but it's going to be a lot of fun, I hope. You will need some rice. This is uncooked, but I've just coloured it green with some food colouring. Some glitter, this is optional, but you can never have enough glitter. A bowl, um, a pot bottle, a water bottle, a funnel if you've got one, and a variety of small objects. Now, along with these small objects, you will need a sheep. And I've also got three pieces of card which say the word no one. Right, so first of all, let's put our rice in the bowl. And then let's add some glitter. A bit, give that a stir, a bit more. She can never have enough, right. Is that a good mix around? Now my bottle is a 500 ml bottle. So I've got roughly about 500 millilitres of rice here. You probably want a little bit less and I'll explain why in a moment. Pour that in. Lovely. Right, take the lid off your bottle, pop your funnel in. Now the idea here is to pour the rice slowly. What I found out is if you pour the rice too quickly, then your funnel gets blocked. Like that. I need to not rush. And then you have to tip it back out and start again. So just a little bit at a time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop there and I'm going to add in one of my objects. I'm going to put my button in and I'm going to put my funnel back in. Pop some more rice in. Again, I've gone too fast. You could, if you don't have a funnel, you could use uh, some folded up paper. Okay, I'm going to put in one of my no signs now. I've written no on both sides. And that goes. Bit more rice. Okay, what shall we choose next? Let's have my coin. I'm going to put my coin in. Add a bit more rice. Right, let's have another no sign. In it goes. A 
more rice. Let's put my pebble in and a bit more rice. I'm going to put my little lost sheep in now. In she goes. Again, I've drawn that on both sides of the card. Piece of Lego that Gabriel got me, in it goes. My last no sign is going in. penguin earring that I pinched from Zoe in there. Another little earring from Zoe. Oh, hold on, doesn't fit in my thumb up one second. <laughs> Thank you. flower earring let's stick that in a bit more rice and a little curtain hook okay right top it back up with the rice you will notice that it's not quite Full. Now, if you have it too full, you won't be able to manipulate the rice in the bottle. So, um, the idea of this game is to find the lost sheep in the bottle by moving your rice around. I'm going to give it a bit of a shake. Now, depending on what age your children are, you can make this game easier or harder. To make it harder, you want to make the objects really small and have a lot of rice in the bottle. But if you want to make it easier, put bigger objects or less rice in the bottle. Now I'm gonna see if I can find my sheep. Oh, I found something. No, that's a piece of Lego, that is not my sheep. Oh, I know it's in here somewhere, there's that Lego again. Is that my sheep? Oh, look. What does it say? No. So that's the idea of the game. You need to keep going until you can find your lost sheep in your bottle. I'm going to keep searching for my sheep, but I'd love to see how your game comes along. And why not pass it around to the family and let everyone have a game? Really good game. Um, it's now back to, uh, it's time to go back to Sal for the summing up of the story. Thanks so much, Joe, for the craft again this week. Really hope to see some of your inventions over the, this next week. Going back to the story, this parable is set with Jesus speaking to tax collectors and to Pharisees and they were people who really didn't like Jesus um, at all. Uh, these are people who maybe are represented in the 99, those people who don't think in themselves that they need um, saving that they are perfect themselves because they are following the law and they do good things. And uh, this one sheep could be me, it could be you, where we've strayed away and done our own thing. But the beautiful thing is that the shepherd in this story is Jesus. He's often known as the good shepherd because he knows the best things for us as being that one sheep that goes away. And when Jesus came to earth, he came to seek out the lost and those that are, um, were ill and those that needed saving. And uh, that's exactly what he did. And he went to find this lost sheep. When he found the sheep, he wasn't cross and angry. He showed tremendous love for the sheep. And what did he do? He picked up the sheep and he took it back and put it in the safety of with the other sheep. And he oversaw those sheep. 
and in a way he oversees and he does oversee our lives and by he showing that love to the sheep the sheep came back he was lost another word for lost is peril danger and that's like each one of us if we just stray away but God's love is even greater and when the sheep came back the shepherd called a party didn't he and uh, celebrated that return and he says that there's a greater party in heaven when one person comes back to the Lord or is saved by by the Lord and knows the Lord and that's our um, story today that actually you too can know Jesus and uh yeah, I just want to pray that even if you're watching this and you know Jesus, that his love for you is so great. And even during this pandemic, when so much is going on and so much uncertainty, God is there and Jesus loves you. But for those of you who have been watching these videos and really not quite sure who Jesus is, well, Jesus came to save you and he made a way when he died on the cross for you. So I just want to pray for you before we hand over to Joe for our final song. Thank you, God. Thank you that you show us in this story, Lord, your amazing love for us. Thank you, Lord, that even though we wander off and, Lord, go our own way, Lord, you bring us back. And, Lord, we pray now that anyone that's watching this who doesn't know you, Lord, that today, Lord, would be a day when they would come to know you. And that's simple, Lord, by saying sorry for the things that we've done, turning back from all the things that we've done wrong, and putting our trust in you, Lord. So, Lord, we just pray for anyone watching this today, that they would indeed make that first step towards coming to know you in a personal way. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Well, there we are. Is it week 16? Is it week 17? I honestly have lost count. But now it's over to Joe and Phoebe for our final song. I hope you've got your dancing shoes on because we're going to be doing the L-O-V-E love song with actions. So thank you and we will see you soon. God bless. Take care. Bye. Hello? 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 Is that, I'm, I'm sorry, I think I've lost Phoebe, I don't know where she is. Can you help me find her? Phoebe? Where are you? I don't know where she is. Where is she gone? Phoebe? There you are! Yay! Brilliant! Brilliant! We found Phoebe! So there you go, there's our little explanation of the lost sheep. When your sheep or when your daughter is lost, when you find her, you celebrate because you're so happy you found her. Yay! Well, we are going to sing a song. We're going to finish off today's um, launch pad with a song that we've learned before. It's about how much Jesus loves us. It's our, if we can remember, L-O-V-E, L-O-V-E, our L-O-V-E song. Okay, so we'll go. Remember, it goes through a couple of times, so you'll get to know it. But try not to fall over as you do in the action. Okay. <laughs> try not to kick the other person. Don't next kick the person you. next to you. Absolutely. Here we go.